Uh, okay, uh, my name is Shingo from Sanken Osaka University. Uh, now let me start with motivation. Uh, we consider modeling with such volume data obtained from Google Trends. Uh, it third order tensor streams consisting of three attributes, time, keyword, location, like this. Uh, however, uh, modeling this data is a challenging task for the following reasons. Uh, first, uh, it has multiple patterns, such as trends and seasonality. And next, uh, it is high dimensional tensor stream. Uh, for example, uh, there are over 100 countries in the world, and the length of the stream is uh, not bounded, uh, it's infinite. Uh, and importantly, uh, there are interest diffusion patterns in data streams. Uh, for example, interest in revolutionary products such as iPhone and iPad uh, diffuse across countries. So this is a problem definition. Uh, given web search volume data streams, we want to find trends, seasonality, and diffusion patterns, and forecast future varies. Uh, to achieve goals, uh, we have to address two problems. Uh, how can we model the diffusion patterns? And how can we adapt to temporal changes in patterns? Uh, we propose a uh, D-tracker method. Uh, this is preview of the results. Uh, our model takes the most recent part of Tensor as input and decompose it into latent dynamics and two factors. Uh, the structure is based on model uh, Tensor decomposition model. And the original Tensor is reconstructed by the multilinear summation of latent dynamics and two factors. Uh, in addition, uh, our models include diffusion equation in model structure. So we can find diffusion patterns in data streams. In this example, we discovered uh, interest diffusion in iPad and iPhone across countries in 2010 and 2011. Uh, and importantly, a diffusion pattern is time varying. So our method can adapt to adapt to temporal changes in patterns by model switching. Uh, our method automatically switch models and capture time varying patterns. Uh, for example, uh, we found another diffusion patterns in 2019 and 2020. <laughs> okay, uh, we present some related works. Uh, as time series forecasting models, uh, deep learning method achieves high performance. Uh, however, uh, these are computationally expensive. Uh, for example, uh, when new data is observed, models must be retrained from scratch. Uh, it is too expensive. Uh, and fast method, a uh, light method are proposed. Uh, however, they lack forecasting power for complex nonlinear dynamics. Okay, uh, let me introduce my models, uh, our models. The uh, main idea is a uh, reaction diffusion system to capture diffusion patterns and tensor decomposition model with reaction diffusion system. Uh, first, uh, it is reaction diffusion system. Uh, key idea is reaction diffusion equation. Uh, it is used to describe special temporal patterns uh, uh, of chemicals or heat. Uh, for example, uh, chemicals diffuse from high concentration area to low concentration area. Uh, heat diffuse from high temperature area to low temperature area. Similarly, we assume that the strength of the interest in the web diffuse from higher area to lower area. A specific formula is like this. Uh, w represents the uh, strength of the interest and A and D are parameters. A reaction diffusion equation has two terms, a reaction term and diffusion term. The first term on the right hand side is reaction term. Uh, it describes the local trend. And second term is diffusion term. Uh, it describes the diffusion patterns between locations. 
uh, parameter d describes the strength of the diffusion. Oh, okay, uh, and uh, however, uh, fitting a reaction diffusion system directly to original tensile is expensive, uh, computationally expensive. So uh, we consider modeling only latent dynamics by the action diffusion system. So as shown in the figures, uh, uh, we, uh, it decomposes the original tensile into two factors and latent dynamics generated from the reaction diffusion system. Uh, this structure reduces the computational time and improves interpretability of the results. Oh, oh, okay, uh, sorry, image is broken. Uh, however, a uh, seasonal tensile is similarly decomposed into latent seasonal, seasonal latent dynamics and two factors. So uh, this is overview of our model. Uh, input tensile is reconstructed by two tensile, a trend tensile and seasonal tensile. And each tensile is decomposed into latent dynamics and two factors. In addition, latent dynamics is generated from a uh, reaction diffusion system. Uh, next, uh, we present two algorithms, model estimation and model update. Uh, model estimation is for training model parameters. And model update is uh, determining whether to switch to a new model to adapt to temporal changes in patterns. Uh, model estimation, uh, we, we introduced model estimation. Uh, the main idea is alternating least squares method. Uh, specifically, we repeatedly update uh, reaction diffusion system and two factors. Reaction diffusion system is optimized by nonlinear optimization and two factors uh, by least squares method. Uh, similarly, seasonal factors are optimized by least squares method. Uh, these are alternately repeated to obtain the optimal parameters. Uh, next, we introduce algorithm, algorithm two, model update. Uh, the main idea is MDL theory. Uh, the objective function is sum of model cost and data encoding cost. Uh, model, model cost is the cost of storing the model. And encoding cost is cost of a lossless compression of data by using the model. Uh, specifically, each cost is like this. Uh, model cost is the number of bits to store the model. And data encoding cost, uh, we use negative log likelihood. So uh, when new data is observed, uh, model update choose the one with the lower total MDL cost. So uh, if, if switch to the new model or keep using current model, uh, model update algorithm choose automatically uh, the better one. Uh, thanks to this algorithm, uh, we can model the data streams without any hyperparameters. So uh, we have we have to uh, we don't uh, we can we don't need hyperparameter tuning. Okay. Finally, uh, we show the results of experiments. Uh, we use a web search volume data obtained from Google Trends. Uh, this set contains information on the number of searches for various keywords in 50 countries over 30 years period. A wide range of topics are selected. Okay, uh, this is one example of uh, our method. Uh, our model decomposed the uh, uh, original tensile into latent dynamics and two factors. 
and as shown in light figures, uh, our method uh, could capture time varying dynamic diffusion patterns. Uh, uh, for example, uh, pan, uh, in 2014 and 2015, uh, Pandas, a Python library, Pandas is diffused across countries. Uh, however, in 2018 and 2019, uh, Pandas and NumPy and Matplotlib has diffused to China. Okay, uh, this is uh, focused in performance comparison. Uh, the tracker consistently out outperforms the baselines. And uh, this is the comparison of computational time. Uh, while deep learning models require significant time to retrain the model from scratch when new data is observed. However, uh, the tracker incrementally trains the model, so uh, it is good performance in streaming scenarios. So the tracker achieves the fastest stream mining. Okay, uh, this conclusion and future work. Uh, our D-Tracker is interpretable and scalable and parameter free. And future work is applying to various data sets. Uh, we use Google Trend data set in this experiment, but it's not enough to show the effectiveness of our method. We have to do additional experiments using various data sets. Okay, thank you for listening.